Be glad that you weren't shoe shopping. X-rays for shoe shopping. <laughs> 1920s because it was downright dangerous. All right, dangerous needs context. You're not going to drop from one fitting. But if you work in that store every day, you're basically living in a low-budget X-ray lab. 1920s to the 1950s, these machines were all the rage in the U.S. and Europe. Yes. Over 9,000 of these things were installed. Radiation back then was kind of the equivalent of AI today. Futuristic, mysterious, and misunderstood. Promise precise shoe sizing by blasting your feet with x-rays. They were marked- All right, so blasting's a bit dramatic. The beam was only between 50 to 100 keV, which is like a medical x-ray. The problem wasn't the intensity, though. It was the lack of shielding and lack of regulations. As cutting-edge technology, but in reality, they came with some serious risk. So back then, no one has heard of dose limits or radiation protection yet. They were sold as modern science, but operated like mad science demos. How they worked. You'd stick your foot into a slot where an <laughs> x-ray tube would fire upwards. A screen above showed the image of your foot inside a shoe, and there and that upward beam is key. It's, it's gonna scatter radiation into the room and anybody nearby. No lead lining, just a wooden box. Basically running a nuclear power plant in a plywood container. Three viewing ports, one for you, one for a salesperson, and one for just anyone else, because why not? But <laughs> Safety, Alara, were not concepts yet. The problem, these machines were poorly regulated and barely maintained. So yeah, tubes age, voltage drifted, nobody recalibrated anything. Outputs will creep up over time without anybody realizing it. Emitted radiation hundreds of times over the safe limit. And here's the problem, you don't- So by today's standards, absolutely. The people in the stores were likely absorbing half a sievert to a sievert per year. To give you a sense of scale, modern radiation workers are limited to 50 millisieverts per year at the high end. Trying one pair of shoes, so anyone that used this was getting blasted with radiation. The sales staff, though, had it the hardest. Yep. They were un- So the customers, it would be like getting a few CT scans, but the staff is absolutely the worst around scatter radiation day after day. Over time, this leads to horrifying consequences. Radiation burn, skin damage, even cancer. In yes, many would have developed radiation dermatitis, basically slow, painful burns. And the exposure is too low for it to be felt immediately, but too high to escape the long-term damage. Right, the perfect fit wasn't worth the risk. This taught us the hard way why we have shielding, calibration, dosimetry, and the alarm.